Welcome to my evil lair. What evil experiments shall we get up to today? Exploding hearts, deadly guardian fishes, invisible sheep, random slime blocks, ghostly withers, and terrible terminators from another world. Hmm, it makes me wonder, how should I satisfy my desire to create evil in this world some more? Hmm, what shall we get up to today? What about turning a sheep purple? Because, you know, isn't that just the cutest thing ever? We can have our very own purple sheep. Hi guys, welcome to my first base race build. This month's theme is science and that intro really killed my voice. Ripped my voice, that really hurts. So, I've built my not so secret science lair and this is literally just a random building. It's not anything, it literally just kind of something which just hobbled together. The only kind of ideas that I wanted for it was to have white concrete on the floor because at first I didn't like this. I love this block now. It is the best block ever for building. Look how smooth it is. It's like um, it's like the laboratory blocks from whatever mod that is. And the other thing that I wanted was a gold block in the middle and the thing, the brewing stand, because magic and science, they're pretty much the same thing, right? You know, there's not much difference between them. They're the, they're the same. And the cobblestone, surprisingly, was one of the things which I didn't really know what to do with, so I just kind of put some there. And there's some redstone comparators around there. And for lighting, we have magma cute, magma, um, magma blocks. Um, I think this also puts out a little bit of light. I'm not sure how bright these are going to be, so if it's not bright enough, I give Ed complete permission to put torches in here because you know I don't want like creepers spawning and skellies and nasty things and yeah of course any good scientist has to have reading materials so I made a little like chill out zone here so we got we got some a bucket of water or some beer or wine or whatever tickles your fancy here so you know you can you can have a sit down you can you can read some wool. You can read some scientific books. Have a drink of, have a drink of some, your favourite, your favourite drink. And yeah, we've also got a TV. So you know, when you've done what, done reading the books, because let's face it, you know, books after a little bit of time, you know, they get a bit boring. You just want to chill out, watch some Jeremy Kyle or whatever. You know, you can just watch that there. Or of course, you can watch one of my YouTube videos. So yeah, you can just chill out and have a watch there. Um, I've done the thing with the doors. I wanted this to be very accessible, so we've got multiple doors around the outside because there's nothing worse than having to run around and try and find a door and you're on the other side of the build. This isn't a massive build either. Um, I forgot to remove this, this wall here, so this isn't meant to be here. I just I forgot to remove it. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not the biggest build in the world, but you know, it's big enough and that of course is the the main entrance. I didn't want to I was originally going to put this blue block all the way around, but it looked a bit like the Hillary Clinton uh presidential campaign logo, and I don't think that'd be probably the best thing because it's sort of very political and you know, political stuff is like, "Oh no." Um for the stairs, which leads upstairs, I wanted to do something a bit different, so I used the uh, the pistons because I couldn't think of what else to do, and the clay is here simply because I had to put it somewhere. Uh, so yeah, that's where the pistons and the clay go, and we've got our stairs. We've got a very fancy glass glass um, stair system here you know we want, we're a very modern scientist of course we've got trap doors and pressure plates and here's our little friend this is Terence the scientific sheep 
The story behind Terence is simply when I was building this up here there's like a mountain Terence simply just fell through um, so I just decided to call him Terence out of randomness and I coloured him purple to be like the purple sheep so yes it's Terence the scientific sheep and this is uh, where the items where Ed can put the items um, I thought this kind of fitted well I, I kind of like uneven, I un unevenly cut it off down the middle because you know and Terence really likes this area for some reason and I don't know why he loves this area so much but yeah this is where I've kind of put where the blocks can go this is Terence's throne slash feeding system so we've got our eight dirt blocks or was it eight or ten how many dirt blocks is here one two three four five six seven eight yeah eight dirt blocks we've got our various of um what's that light blue or light cyan concrete a light blue terracotta blocks I'm not a fan of the terracotta if I'm honest I don't think it's particularly nice it looks a bit space age and of course we've got torches all the way, all the way around the outside to light this area up and we've got some seats so you know we can chill and you know look out the window and look at that gorgeous view so what else have we got? We've got another window here, we've got a random crafting table because I was kind of working out the amounts that you need for various items and I forgot to remove it. So, but hey, you know, it's a crafting table, they come in useful, don't they? So, you know, it can be there, it can be sort of like a little seat as well, so, you know, a little table, it's kind of cute. Here we've got another redstone comparator and some more clay. If you're wondering what our roof is, I decided this, I'm a very green scientist, you know, I like to care about the environment. So I fitted the roof with photovoltaic solar panels and which are, you probably guessed, they are sensors. So, and we've got another piston up here, which this piston is our basically tells us when it's day outside because you know you could be doing some stuff here you know you could be doing some scientific experiments and you're like hmm I wonder is it day or night so I just I made a sensor to show and these doors up here kind of work in the same way uh, they're mainly there for show and sort of I couldn't think what else to do dark, dark oak wood with and you know I'm a mad scientist I don't have to live by rules, so I just do, I did random stuff. Got enough of magma cube block. I was slightly wary when placing this, because this floor is black wool. So I didn't know whether if it was going to set it on fire or not, but thankfully it hasn't. And hmm, you may be wondering, when you looked outside, what was this great big module sticking out well if we just head up our stone slab stairs it's actually our bedroom and our birch tree experiment yes i couldn't i sort of when i was building this i looked around the landscape a little bit and i found this kind of cool area with just this kind of random sort of grass blocks floating there and i i thought i had to interpret it somewhere into the build so I, f I had a birch tree and I was thinking hmm, what can we do let's kind of build something here and yeah I placed down the birch tree and basically it's an experiment to see whether or not it'll grow or not because I honestly don't know I'm going to put it out there I have no idea if this tree will grow or not so this is the crazy science experiment and also we put a green bed because isn't green just the best colour ever, you know? And it's we're on point twelve. Embrace the colour. Yes, and that feels so weird to me saying that because usually I'm like, no, the changes are bad. They can't. We can't have any changes in Minecraft ever, you know. <laughs> but I thought the, the green bed looks kind of cool. I did originally put down a plain bed, but then you know the the green just looks awesome. And also got another piston here because why not? Originally I did put that cobblestone block on there 
but then I realised it's not a sticky piston so it just kind of does that and opens the door because you know what else can it do uh, just thinking is there anything else that we need to talk about um, I don't think if we can get down whatever sometimes they do they're a bit tricky to get through those and the, it's, this is an iron block right it's quartz I think I might have done a boo-boo there's an iron block there well maybe I haven't it's just I can't remember I've crossed them off so I've placed down the iron blocks somewhere but I'm just not quite sure where they are <laughs> um, so I have a look around here so they look sort of like that like they look a bit like an iron golem which I've actually thought the iron golem looks a bit like a sandstone creature I'm sure I've placed them down but I don't know where there's one there Hmm, the hunt fills the blocks. Very, very strange. They seem to have disappeared. Um, I have no idea. Um, they're not on the outside, are they? Let's have, let's have a look and see if they're on the outside at all. Hmm. How peculiar. I've literally lost blocks. Well, we're just gonna have to give me <laughs> iron blocks block three. There we go, let's give us three iron blocks. Where should we place these? I might have put them down somewhere then like remove them. Uh let's place them up here. There we go. Yay! It's all good. <laughs> So yeah, this is of course the first time I've ever built a base in this, and I better do time set day because it is it is night time outside, and it doesn't seem to get too dark, which is good. Oh, there's a zombie! How delightful! I love waking up and seeing zombies in the morning. So yeah, this is my build. It's wacky. It's crazy. It's sciency, sort of. <laughs> so yeah, I do hope you enjoyed my base build video. Slap that like button if you did, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.